Hey everybody, welcome back again. We're doing Aaron Fox's Aero Striker V2, set 70320. I forgot to mention that in the last video, but you probably already know from the title what it was. So I don't think you were confused. Unless you are blind and you're watching this, which is fine really if you just like the sound of my voice, I guess. Let's see. We're just diving in because I'm continuing from the last recording. I want to get the rest of this done today, even if I don't get all the... Even if I don't get it all in one recording. And I don't want to make one big long recording because I don't think people want to see that. But if you do, let me know and I will do long recordings. Okay. Here we go. And what do we do? Uh, we do stick on this thing. These are really cool pieces. Uh, we last saw these when we were doing the Black Knights mech. Sticker number one. Numero uno. Let's see. And that goes right here. And it looks like they created this sticker just for this piece because they didn't want to make a special printed piece which is kind of good kind of bad the printed pieces are nice but they kind of create specialization and if you ever want to just make this more general you can always take that sticker off later of course you can't really put it back on again so once you make that decision you're stuck with it but that's life. Life is full of decisions you have to make and consequences that you have to pay. There we go. There we go. We turn this around and that goes at the bottom there, which leaves this piece here reinforced only by this. See, it's, it hangs over over here so that's kind of interesting okay oh and we have yep I think we are gonna do this mirrored because this goes over how does this go on goes on like that yes sticks on there by those Technic pieces there that looks pretty cool, I must say. Okay. And now the other one for the, the other side. I'll just build that off camera. No, not really. No, you are going to have to watch the whole process. Well, I guess you don't have to, but do it anyway. because this is highly entertaining and I just won't shut up. Yep, um, I used to work at Hollywood Video and this girl I worked with, um, Jennifer, her name was? Yeah, Jennifer. And, um, she would always laugh at me because, not laugh at me, but you know, she, she, just, she said I would just talk nonstop all day to the customers. And it's true, I did. The customers liked it. I mean, it was kind of, um, it was my thing. You know, I was the funny guy at Hollywood Video. Or not, yeah, Hollywood Video. Let's see. This goes here. And that was a really fun job. I loved that job. I went back to it years later, and um, the company was dying. It was going out of business, and I actually worked at a Hollywood video up until the very day it closed, and the company went under, and it had turned into this cash grab company. Like, you used to be able to, to give customer service, you know, they didn't pressure you to sell things. Your only responsibilities were to keep the store clean, 
keep the videos organized, which I liked doing, and uh, give the customers good recommendations and stuff. And then uh, when I came, when I went back to work there again years later, sell, sell, sell. You had quotas to meet. It was like that at um, Blockbuster too. And it's just, it was sad to see it like that. But, you know, the CEOs and stuff, the they all wanted to grab the last bit of money they could from people before the company went under. Or maybe they were scrambling to save the company, but I don't see how you save a company by pressuring people to buy things. That's not a good way to do business. And pressuring your workers to sell things, it just... Uh, it wasn't good. It was not a good environment, and if the company hadn't gone under, I would not have lasted much longer there. But I loved being there to talk to the customers about movies, and they'd say, what movies are good? And I would tell them, and they'd come back and say, yes, that movie was good! And it was quite rewarding. Let's see. Lots of fun. I'd probably still be there to this day if it was a good environment. I don't know. I would say I'm a little old to be doing stuff like that, but uh, there was a guy I worked with who was like 92? He was in his 90s. Yeah, I think he was 92. He was hilarious. He was such a cool guy. All the young ladies who would come in, he would flirt with them and stuff, which, you know, is funny to me. They didn't seem to mind. He, he wasn't harassing anybody. There's really nothing wrong with flirting, as long as you're not being pushy or in a relationship. Let's see, one of these. And we had, uh, there was this, we had a lot of regular customers because it's a very regular customer business, which is um, why you don't want to pressure people to buy things. You want to retain the customers, which is why I really liked at first their commitment to customer service. And um, we had a lot of repeat customers and one of them was this lady who was about as old as the guy, I think his name was Bob, uh, as he was, and she flirted with him because, you know, he was her age, but he was not interested. He only wanted the very, very young ladies. So that's kind of funny. And unfortunate, they could have been very happy together. Let's see. Now this, and this, and that goes down here, there we go, just like that, and then this goes on this side, that didn't take long, that wasn't hard, there we go, now it's really starting to look like a thing, don't you think, don't you think? Hmm. There's a lot of steps left, so I think this is going to take another... I might not even be able to get this done today. Hmm. But that is my problem, isn't it? Let's see. This goes across here, correct? Correct, yes. Right? Actually wrong. Um, actually... Did I... Did I mess something up here? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. When I put these on, um, it was supposed to be the, uh, the black pieces go in this black part. Uh-oh. Something's coming off. Oh, I see. I see. There's another uh, Technic piece that goes into that hole there. 
So there we go. Let's fix that. See, when you pull that out, it those Technic pieces, these pins, come out on the wrong side. Okay. There we go. So that, that's all supposed to be flush with each other. And there, that goes across all that. And that goes across all that. There we go. Excellent, excellent. And then we attach this, these to these, like this. So it pulls them tight, although it's a little bit looser if you turn that. So you can actually adjust it to whatever you want it to be. If you want it to look like it's drawn back, you can turn this part at the end to draw it back a bit more. I do want them to match. I think I will actually do it that way. There. There we have it. It's not done yet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good... What are we building now? I'm not sure what this is, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, let me set this aside here. I'm not sure we're going to need it anytime real soon. We'll concentrate on the task at hand. So here and here. The blue goes on top there. And then we have this goes on here. And then a blue, or the dark blue piece. That's a really nice blue color. I like that. And then, let's see, two more of these. They give us a good amount of these little one-by-ones, one-by-one tiles. Put that on there so that the holes all line up there. Oh, it's hard to keep that straight. Be very careful as you're putting this together. A little kid would have a hard time with this, I think. So if you are a little kid and you're doing this, hang in there. You can do it. But if you really need help, ask an adult. Let's see. Sometimes Isaac and Trent need help with things, actually, a lot of the time. And I feel bad because so often I react like, ugh, I don't want to help you. And I shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have that attitude. I should be willing to help. Because I want them to want to help people. Parenthood. When you're a parent, you, uh... It really highlights to you weaknesses in your own character. You want your kids grow up to be good people and you find out you don't always measure up to the standard that you set for them. And it's guilt inducing. There we go. There and there. There. Oh, I see. These are like the little engine deals. That's cool. Okay, so you flip this over and you put these on bottom here. Let's see. And then we go back to this, flip it over. Hmm, everything is connected by these pins, which, I don't know, feels a little bit like, like a cheat, like real Lego is supposed to be bricks, but, oh well, not pins. But that's all right, that's all right. It's still a cool looking set. I still don't want to knock it. Okay, we're going to end up needing both of these. Um, probably all four of these. 
uh, both of these. Okay, so let's start. I think I'm going to end this video as soon as I have this finished. Okay, then that, then that, then these two, and then two of these in there and in there. Okay, that goes right there. Then this goes right here, is that right? Yes, that's right. Nope, that's wrong. That is in fact wrong. Let's see, this goes on here like that. Like that? I think so. And there, that's how it goes. Then another one of these goes here, like that. I hope you are seeing this and this goes on, wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I see, that's right, yeah, yeah. This goes on here like this. And then this goes on here. Yep, 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 yep. And then we get these, and these are really unique pieces. I don't know if these are new for this set, but those are kind of cool. There we go. There we go. And then flip it over and we get two of these things. And then we take our unit here and we stick that on there like so. Like so. There. So there we have this so far. I'm going to end this here and maybe next time we can do the finale. So I'll see you then.